What if I told you that stepping outside could feel like walking into a shower of sparkling diamonds? It might sound like a fantasy, but this incredible phenomenon occurs on a distant planet. Welcome to the world of extreme weather in the universe, where you'll encounter everything from diamond rain to colossal superstorms. The universe is full of wonders waiting for us to explore. The Searing Furnace of the Solar System Welcome to Venus, a planet where the weather forecast is always super hot and cloudy with a chance of acid rain. It's our solar system's fiery furnace and quite different from Earth. Venus takes everything to the extreme. It's the second planet from the Sun and is all about extreme heat. This intense heat is due to the greenhouse effect. Venus has a suffocating, thick atmosphere made mostly of carbon dioxide, 96.5%, with a dash of nitrogen, 3.5%, a powerful greenhouse gas. This traps heat, making Venus incredibly hot. Temperatures can sizzle at up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or 475 degrees Celsius, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. The reason for this extreme heat is the heavy air, which acts like a warm, cozy blanket, preventing heat from escaping into space. In comparison, Earth's atmosphere does a much better job of maintaining comfortable temperatures for life, so there's no comparison between these two planets. Venus also has an atmospheric pressure over 90 times stronger than Earth's. It's like having a massive mountain pressing down on you. Even spacecraft can't last long in these harsh conditions because of the extreme heat. But that's not all. Venus has clouds made of sulfuric acid, giving it a strange yellowish look. The air is a mix of carbon dioxide, definitely not something you'd want to breathe. Recently, scientists found phosphine gas in Venus's clouds, which could be a sign of tiny living things, although scientists are not sure yet. Despite all these challenges, scientists are very curious about Venus and how planets work and evolve over time. Neptune's Sonic Cyclones Have you ever wondered where the fastest winds in the entire solar system blow? Welcome to Neptune, home to the fastest winds in our whole solar system, racing at an incredible 1,200 miles per hour, 2,000 kilometers per hour. Neptune is a huge planet, about four times wider than Earth. Instead of solid ground like on Earth, Neptune has an ocean made of ammonia and water. What makes Neptune extreme is its super strong winds. Scientists didn't directly see these winds, so they used special tools on the Voyager 2 spacecraft, which flew past Neptune in 1989. What they discovered was astonishing. Neptune's winds are not scattered like on Earth. Instead, they flow in narrow bands called jet streams, high up in Neptune's atmosphere. So, why do the winds on Neptune blow so fast? Some brilliant scientists think it's because Neptune is very cold, which makes the air less sticky and allows the winds to speed up. Other scientists have a different idea. Neptune's warmth might play a part because it gives off more heat than it receives from the Sun. It's a fascinating space mystery that scientists are trying to unravel. The Great White Spot Have you ever heard of a massive space storm visible from Earth? It's called the Great White Spot, or Great White Oval on Saturn. These storms are enormous, spanning thousands of kilometers, and we can observe them using telescopes from Earth. Scientists closely monitor these storms, and the one observed in 2010 and 11 was especially intriguing. They witnessed some remarkable events in Saturn's clouds. One chemical decreased while another increased. Additionally, the temperature inside the storm became unusual. These massive storms on Saturn occur about every 28.5 years. Most of the storms occur when Saturn's northern poles are leaning towards the Sun. People have been noticing these storms since 1876. 
However, what's puzzling is that there are no records of these storms before 1867, and the reason remains unknown. Scientists believe these storms result from changes in Saturn's upper atmosphere as it gets colder. This phenomenon makes some gases less dense, and when they mix with denser gases, they create thunderstorms. The delay in observing these storms may be due to Saturn's vast atmosphere. During the winter, Saturn's rings block our view of its upper part, making it impossible to see these storms from Earth. However, the Cassini spacecraft, which arrived in 2004, has been sending us valuable information about Saturn, helping us better understand this remarkable phenomenon. A rain shower of diamonds. Welcome to Uranus and Neptune, where it rains diamonds. These planets are ice giants. Deep inside these ice giants, hidden beneath their blue and green clouds, something extraordinary is happening. A constant rain of diamonds. Think of it as one of the most extreme weather phenomena in the entire universe. This discovery was made during the Voyager 2 mission in the late 1970s. Scientists understand what Neptune and Uranus are made of and how things get hotter and denser the deeper you go into a planet. Through clever calculations and experiments, they realized that the extreme pressures inside these planets could turn methane into carbon. This carbon bonds together to create diamonds. It's like a cycle, with diamonds forming, sinking, and then vaporizing as they rise again, creating a diamond rain. Although scientists can't send spacecraft to these distant ice giants right now, they've conducted experiments with lasers on Earth to simulate the intense conditions inside Neptune and Uranus. Astonishingly, they created tiny diamonds right here on Earth. So, while scientists can't see this diamond rain directly, it's a fascinating discovery that helps us understand these mysterious ice giants better. The monstrous storm that could swallow our entire planet. Let's journey far away from Earth, heading towards the biggest planet. What's incredible about Jupiter is the gigantic storm inside called the Great Red Spot. This storm sits not too far from the center of Jupiter. Inside it, the winds blow incredibly fast, even faster than the strongest winds on Earth. This storm is super wide, about 1.3 times wider than our entire Earth. Its size is so vast that it would take several Earths lined up in a row to match it. People have known about the Great Red Spot for a very long time. Early scientists saw it back in the late 17th century. Interestingly, there's a painting from 1711 by Donato Creti. That depicts the great red spot as red, which was the first time anyone described it that way in writing. People have been watching the great red spot since 1879, and scientists have been studying it closely. In 1979, during a mission called Voyager 1, scientists got a close look at the Great Red Spot. A smaller spot called Oval BA, or the Little Red Spot, appeared in 2000 when three smaller white ovals collided and merged. This mini-storm is located in Jupiter's southern hemisphere. Then in 2016, the spacecraft Juno arrived at Jupiter. Juno's mission was to study Jupiter's atmosphere, including the Great Red Spot. In 2017, Juno got close to the storm, taking amazing pictures and collecting data. This data is helping scientists learn even more about this fascinating storm on Jupiter. Then something surprising started happening to the Great Red Spot. It started shrinking. Some scientists think it might disappear completely in a few decades. But others believe the shrinking might be due to changes in the clouds, not because the storm was subsiding. Big Sky Explosions Recently, scientists witnessed explosions on Venus for the first time. These explosions are caused by the Sun's strong energy and are called Hot Flow Anomalies HFAS. HFS occur due to changes in the solar wind, which is a fast stream of particles from the Sun. 
At times, the magnetic fields in the solar wind align with its direction, causing them to stick close to something called the bow shock. The bow shock is where the solar wind slows down and goes around a planet. When one of these changes slowly moves across the bow shock, it can trap a large number of solar particles, creating a big pool of super hot plasma, sometimes as big as Earth. These plasma particles become stuck in one place and create shock waves. Everything downstream, meaning everything after the explosion, becomes different from what was upstream or before the explosion. These explosions are so powerful that they push the solar wind back towards the sun. This is impressive because the solar wind is extremely fast, faster than the speed of sound. Scientists began searching for these explosions on Venus in 2009 using data from the European Space Agency's Venus Express probe. It wasn't easy because a day on Venus lasts for 243 Earth days. However, they found evidence of an HFA on March 22, 2008. Even though Venus doesn't have a magnetic field, these HFAs might still affect its atmosphere. Scientists need more information to fully understand them. However, this discovery suggests that HFS might occur on many planets in our solar system and even in other solar systems. So, we've explored incredible space weather phenomena such as diamond rain, the scorching heat on Venus, the speedy winds on Neptune, the strange storms on Saturn and the diamond showers on distant planets. The massive storm on Jupiter and the solar explosions on Venus are truly amazing. These wonders of space weather remind us of the numerous mysteries in the universe and inspire us to continue our exploration. What are your thoughts on these amazing discoveries in space weather? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.